High winds associated with the same storms left a path of damage across a section of Crawford County. On Rundletown Road in Conneautville, large trees were toppled over on top of a house. The trees causing some damage to that home, and the scenes were similar in numerous spots between Conneautville and Cambridge Springs. According to the Crawford County 911 Center, there were no injuries caused by falling trees or by limbs. And now we turn to our meteorologist Dan Rupp for an update on the severe weather that we've seen in our region. Dan has been following this from moment one. Dan? Yeah, that's right, Tracy. And uh, Tom Atkins, Tom DeVecchio, and myself were all here uh, yesterday just keeping very busy watching these storms. And around 2.30 uh, is when things started to really get hairy. This is uh, the storm winds. So the greens and the grays indicating winds going towards the radar. This is uh, the Cleveland radar, so they're going this way. Red's going away. So you can see right here where they're touching each other, that's where uh, you see a little bit of rotation. And this is uh, about 2.30. This is uh, um, when that tornado warning was issued for Conneautville and that ended up moving towards the southeast. But at one time, 3.30, there was four different rotations we were tracking. So it was just crazy stuff. Multiple tornado warnings, uh, too, were issued. You can see all the boxes right there. Another image from uh, that damage. You see most of the roof was ripped off, and this was ranked in EF2 at about 115 miles per hour. We'll have your forecast in a bit, though. Uh, we'll send it back to you, Tracy. Dan, thank you for continuing to track that for us.